take the stone away. Lazarus, here, come out. Unbind him. Let him go free. These are the three central and powerful statements of Jesus in the drama of the Lazarus story. Take the stone away. Lazarus here, come out and bind him. Let him go free. Tombs are dark places, no light, no life. Tombs are suffocating places, no air, no breath. Tombs keep life on the outside at a distance. Tombs keep death on the inside, closed in near at hand. Tombs are not just places for the dead. Sometimes the living dwell there too. In these days we experience tombs of fear, social tombs of desolation, separation and isolation, economic tombs of unemployment, financial hardship, deep insecurity, psychological tombs of guilt and anger and denial, emotional tombs of distress, hurt and pain. These are like a death. Life and light are outside. They seem beyond our reach. The world has closed in on us. There is a heavy stone in the way which is keeping us all imprisoned with fear that in one way or another we might have one foot in the grave already. We long to hear the words, take this heavy stone away. How is the stone rolled away? No matter how hard we try, we cannot roll the stone away by ourselves. We need God. We need grace. We need the grace that comes to us in the shape of other human beings. Things may seem as though they are closing in on us, but that is the deception of the tomb. The promise of Jesus remains, and stones, even heavy ones, can still be rolled away. The stone is rolled away by the heart that is open. It is rolled away by a word of connection. It is rolled away by acts of generosity. It is rolled away by a gesture of solidarity. It is rolled away by the accompaniment of friendship. It is rolled away by the gift of mercy. It is rolled away by the offering of peace. It is rolled away by the graciousness of love. It is rolled away by the shouldering of grief. It's rolled away by the gra grace of trust. then something beyond us begins to draw us out of ourselves. For the moment, we must remain separated. But the longing in our hearts grows. We ache to hear the words come out. Unbind them. Let them go free. Emerging from our own tombs we will, be, will be a long process and we will need one another in the grace of God. It will be gradual, step by step. Part of the path towards renewing our own lives will be helping others to renew theirs. As we help others become free, 
we in turn receive from them the grace of freedom and life through a word of connection, through acts of generosity, through a gesture of solidarity, through the accompaniment of friendship, through the gift of mercy, through the offering of peace, through the graciousness of love, through the shouldering of grief, through the grace of trust. Together we seek the newness of life which God offers. Even in the midst of all this darkness, the days of Easter glory are almost upon us. Can we see the connection between the time we are experiencing and the story of Lazarus? There is life beyond these tombs which we, the living, dwell in. We might be locked in, but let us not lose sight of Jesus who is standing at the doorway, at the threshold, standing over our open wounds, calming our bleak uncertainties and rampant fears, calling us back to life. Take the stone away. Come out. Be unbound. Go free. <laughs>